Queensland's favourite son, Terry Grant, leads the all-powerful Storm out onto a ground where they have a 75% winning strike rate, which uh, is on track to be a record in terms of uh, the closeness of the margins in a round of football that we have seen in the game. So you can't ask for much more than that. Next year, he is evergreen. It'll be his 23rd consecutive season. So already a bright week for Melbourne. Can they cap it off with victory in Magic Round? Wishart will send Christian Welsh back to get us underway on Sunday footy here at Suncorp. Grant working with Wishart. Quick hands out to Xavier Coates. The Parramatta turning up in defense, defense again here. Kamakamita! They're not going to stop him, I don't think. Do they get around the ball? Well, this is a D-Max replay. The ball will come wide. And then just watch Harry Grant go to work. Firstly, he gets over there, sprints to get to the threat. But have a look at this pass, the way he generates power to come at Kamitha. It's a 15 minute, metre pass. That is as good as it gets. What a player. Yeah, Craig Bellamy at his best. And changes the side at the last minute, brings Tui Kamakamitha into the starting side. Just wanted to play a little bit bigger against this big. Powers up that 10 metre line once again, where he stopped. Uh, by Christian Welsh, away to Hopgood, doing a lot of this first receiver work. Now to Lunny, and it'll be a try to power in the corner. Great work, Simonson with the put down. And then Simonson, nice little play there, but then Tar Lunny, he gets the advantage by accelerate, accelerating at Remus Smith, Izuzu D Max replay, and Bailey Simonson. He's had a good couple of weeks. He was terrific running the football last week. Great finish. Well, the difference on that play, for a fraction of a second, they held up two players. He's got origin footy written all over him. Well, I've loved what he's done over the last 18 months. And he spent his... By Longo, inside pass comes, motoring onto it. Melbourne on the backup, Grant trying to get through. They've scurried and they've saved it. Well, off and Gowie, he gets his hand to the ball here. Cartel with an offload. It's attractive football this weekend, isn't it? What a ball, what a run. Warbrick, he's powered past them all. Izuzu oh, D-Max replay. Ball goes out to the right-hand side, and they just changed the angle through Will Warbrick. And, and he just shows his athleticism, great palm, and then he accelerates around the young fullback Blaze Talangi, straight under the sticks. Will Warbrick, welcome to Magic Round. And once again, it was that cutout pass from dummy half straight to the back row, which got him straight one on one with Dejon Arcee. They got the offload. You can't waste an offload. Get the ball to your ball players and then your strike players. And then look at that for an athlete. But this wide cutout pass from dummy half, the Melbourne Storm are doing. It's getting their back rowers that one on one tackle with the smaller man, the halfback on the edge of the ruck. A wonderful athlete, this tall right winger for the Melbourne Storm, Will Warbrick. There he goes, Xavier Back Coates. The defence again. Harry, Coates. Harry Grant wants a kick. He's all there by himself. Harry, does he get the bounce? Yes, he does. They go back to back in spectacular fashion. Oh, Zuzu, MU at D Max replay. Well, Dylan Brown, he milks it. I hope they don't take this off. But we've seen it before. Sean Bloor runs to the outside of Dylan Brown. But Harry Grant, once again, he is everywhere. This will show it perfect. Well, if they're going to be consistent, I don't agree with it, but if they're going to be consistent, this will be a no try. Harry Grant, we know how much work he gets through. Already double figures in tackles. Always push, pushing up in the middle. Meaning for point blank. Come on. Short in. Joey. Come so Paramount with a chance to narrow this gap. It's half time. Looms. He's come burning onto one. A longy with tries in back to back weeks, and he just beat them for pace. This time he doesn't even think about passing the football. Izuzu D Max replay. Oh. Beautiful pass, Dylan Brown. And Blaze Talungi. 
Yeah, Dylan Brown back on the left-hand side of the field where he likes to play, and that was caused be because of how straight and how quickly he played with Dylan Brown. Digs straight into the line and then creates the overlap. Will Warbrick, he was worried about Marcus Sivo on the outside. Just plays Talungi. Doesn't he look a player and a half? Get your thoughts on where his best position is. Dejan Arce from out wide. That's a very good kick. And Parramatta narrow this gap. Last play, floor. Back for Harry. One-handed pass. Simonson comes charging in. Can't shut the ball down. Anderson got it away. A kick ahead by Wishart. The ball sits up in the end goal, but Melbourne the are going to win a penalty for some interference on the kicker. Yeah, it was a fire a ball out to the right-hand side. Oh, there's not much there. So many to push this gap out past the converted try. Backed out of the tackle, through the hands, Anderson, they've got numbers out wide, Warbrick has to step off the left, comes back to the middle, Grant backing up, Harry! This poor end of the set, they rolled up field, Isuzu D-Max replay just pretty much gave the ball back to Melbourne, and on the back of this poor kick, they rolled up the field, and I like this, the ball comes out the back, and the forwards just get the ball and just move it, catch, pass, Find a ball player, put some plays on. They get to a strike player and then look who's there. We spoke about him just after half time. What a champion. Well, he's all effort, isn't he? What a champion. He's effort, he started the play and he finished it. Beautiful hands there by Remus Smith. Xavier Coates, he's had some heads up moments this year. Off the boot and that was a beautiful little offload. It all started back at the other end of the field with Ellie Katala. That was a momentum shifter. to Anderson. Numbers on this left-hand side again. They've stripped the Melbourne. Remus Smith inside of Talani and over for another Melbourne try. Melbourne. Back-to-back -back sets. Izuzu D-match replay and Anderson, he drifts across the field and picks up Suofar Longo. Puts Remus Smith down the sideline and he finishes his work. Great work, Melbourne. They go back-to-back. Ready. The one thing you've got to do when you defend a Melbourne is you've got to work together. They always manage to try to isolate you. That's why you've got to keep working together, keep pushing. It's a perfect example that try of how they just isolate defenders. And by the end, they'll just all isolate. Have a look, just one player at a time, all run in different directions. That run from Katoa, it lifted the storm, but I think it also broke the eels a little bit as well. Fairly quickly from Parramatta, unless they can summons some sort of resistance. Meany nails the kick. And Harry has been unbelievable. Anderson with a great pass. Claw into the clear. Alec McDonald backing up. Gee, he's got to turn a foot for a prop. McDonald gets it away. That scored three on the bounce. Well, look at this. Players left on the ground all over the place. Harry Grant gets out. Grant Anderson, isn't he having some sort of game? Gives it to Bloor. Izuzu D-match replay. And Alec McDonald. Wow. The man they call Chin. They're having fun now, the Storm. Grant Anderson. Three players left on the ground. No markers. Was that the second play off the kickoff? So there's no fatigue in Parramatta. Three players left on the ground, then Harry went to work. That just goes down to desire. Canasini. Straight over the top, straight into the hands of Xavier Coates, who's bounding upfield and is going to beat them all. Well, that was just a passing hope, and Xavier Coates could not... They flicked one over the top, and Xavier Coates was there. Izuzu D-Max replay. Once he got the ball, it was goodbye. He's had a couple of weeks off with a hamstring injury, but he's all smiles here today in Magic Round.
So we saw Katoa earlier just get the ball and charge. And on the back of it, the Melbourne Storm lift, lifted. And from there, they went bang, bang, bang and scored three or four tries. It was a turning point, wasn't it, Joey? Who is going to do that for Parramatta? Who's just going to say, give me the ball, I'm going to scatter them and get on the back of me? Because that set was, I want a trick shot, I want a offload, I want to go sideways. Six more tackles. Over the top for Penasini, there's a gap there, and he accelerates towards the line. We're not sure. Yep. Well, Xavier Coates, he yep. gets underneath Will Penasini. I'll have a look at what's Video under review. the bonnet, the Melbourne Storm. I have no try. Jerry, we're coming into tackle zero. 42 I'm saying there's 10. no advantage if this ball isn't grounded and knocked on. Just watch this ball will go up. And when the ball comes out the back, the ball will eventually go to Will Panasini. But just watch the purple jerseys. Just the head goes forward. Watch this now. Let's try for all money. 42-10. Game's won. Look at 18 sprinting. Body on the line. More come. Save a try. Desperation. How many Melbourne Storm jerseys you see in the picture compared to Parramatta? Three around the ball and three others in close proximity. That's the difference. All right, no try, but... Right. Few players more popular up here than... Munster! Katoa is out left by Casivo. You see here on the Isuzu D-Max replay, the effort, that, that's what it is. Uh, the class is, that's the icing on the cake. That talent's the icing on the cake. The foundation is the work ethic. But you talk about work ethic, and you can talk and talk and talk, but what makes them put the work ethic in consistently? Well, when it happens at the top, it filters down. And that's what happens at the Melbourne Storm. The, the leaders of the club work the hardest, and that starts with their coach, Craig Bellamy. Come on. Down inside the 10. Nothing after half-time for Parramatta. Popgood through the hands. Plays to Lungy, floating pass. Sebo won't be stopped in the corner. Another magic round four pointer for Micah Sebo. Their only points of the second half. It's been Melbourne running downhill. They John Arcy from right against the sideline. The kick. Off the post and over. John, 48 to 16. Here are some performance by the Storm. 